Hello and welcome back to Promise Gaming and Civilization Beyond Earth Rising Tide. So in the last video, we discovered some of the newer features as far as hybrid affinities is concerned. We also went into some depth talking about the complexities of diplomatic capital, which I think is one of the most asymmetric and interesting additions to the game. And uh, as a result, I'm going to be rushing toward this new civilization. I kind of want to meet them and possibly show you what some of those agreements are going to be. Give you an idea what I'm talking about. I'm not crazy. It's it's kind of cool. Did we not finish the petroleum well? Apparently we did not. Uh, that's silly. Let's construct a farm, an underwater farm. Still haven't found anything useful in this area, though. Kind of disappointed. Not seeing a good location for a city. We may just have to go for it, you know? Is this ocean? No. Doesn't look like it. We just don't know what's off in this map. I don't know, guys. Uh, I'm, uh, hmm. I think maybe we can just build a city right here. It's not a great location for a city. It's not awful either. Maybe we'll try that. I don't know. Let's get back over to Petroleum Well because apparently I uh, done goofed and I didn't actually build anything there. That was silly of me. Let's move on to the next turn. So impressions so far are uh, this is kind of cool. I'm kind of liking what Rising Tide is trying to accomplish. Um, just not, uh, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of reserving my, my impressions and uh, any critique, but I think this could be really cool. I'm just mostly interested in seeing what this uh, what this new diplomatic overview is going to look like. You know, I want to see I want to see how this works as far as diplomatic relations and the inter interwebbing of relationships. Now, let's go ahead and look at uh, the new trait or agreement options. Since we have discovered the Pan Asian Cooperative, we can view all potential agreements. So, because we've met them, and because we are neutral with them, these are the agreements available to us. We can spend 150 diplomatic capital up front, plus 15 per turn, to the Pan-Asian Cooperative in order to gain access to public works. Energy maintenance for buildings in your capital reduced by 30%. I don't really consider that to be a very good agreement at all. I probably will never pick that up. However, there is this one instead, 150 capital and 15 per turn to gain production from strategic resources. That could be nice. We may want to consider that at some point, but that's how this would work. And vice versa, when she looks at me in the diplomatic screen, she can see what kind of uh, traits I'm offering her, and she can choose to spend diplomatic capital and pay me for access to those... Oh. I don't care about that. She can pay diplomatic capital to me in order to gain access to some of those perks. So, kind of cool, kind of cool. Do we want to build an ultrasonic fence? Not at this point. Instead, I would rather get, say, a gunboat, a naval ranged unit. I want to start um, very well. I, I thought I was done with you. I want to start clearing out some of this hydro coral because it's going to be a bit problematic as far as expansion in the game later. Manticores, do not kill my colonist unit. I know you're considering it. There you go. Freaky little scorpion things. Get out of here. Yeah, here. Nobody likes you. Uh, looks like you spawned next to a little bit of Phyraxite. Attack not advisable. Let me reconsider. I didn't want to attack that in the first place. You can see the Rippers are a fairly weak unit overall. Uh, they can do some damage, but they're still not quite strong enough against the Hydra Coral, which, while it is stationary and doesn't do anything, if you attack it, it will fight back, apparently. Not really sure why that works, but it does. So, whatever. All right, we discovered a resource pod. I'm interested in that. We have some updates in the quest log. Research computing. Probably to gain access to my spies' covert operations, which would be kind of fun. So do we find a city over here? Uh, there's a lot of Phyraxite off in this direction. Holy crap, we found Phyraxite, that's for sure. How far away are you? Pretty far away. Huh, well, the Pan-Asian Cooperative is going to be going for supremacy, I can almost guarantee you that. That is a lot of Phyraxite. Why did they get such an awesome start? I've got, like, nothing! As far as affinity resources. How disappointing. Alright, well we got a goodie hut. 19 research. That's cute, I guess. We're still on the hunt, by the way, for... Ooh, it says we should found a city up here. Why? Mm, that's a lot of miasma in the way, though. I'm not sure I agree with them. You know, one downside of founding a city here, though, because this canyon is located here... The miasma is completely blocking off any options for trade routes. We'd want to clear some of that out eventually. Hmm, I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to found one right here. It's a reasonable location for a city. It's got some resources that'll help it grow a little bit faster. I'm kind of okay with that. Move on to the next turn. Hmm. 
Well, we do have an expedition module. Oh, God, a siege worm. Okay. Uh, don't feel like messing with a siege worm. Siege worms are bad. Siege worms are really strong and bad. Stay away from me. Found another resource pod. Excellent. Let's go ahead and steal as many of those away from the Pan-Asian Cooperative as possible. Because we are not going to be cooperating with the Pan-Asian Cooperative. Let's finish building this petroleum well. Gain access to some petroleum. Just two petroleum. It's not even that good. But we can. Quest updates. Kill the siege worm. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. We did finish another expedition uh, with the alien skeleton. And as a result, we got 14 affinity XP towards harmony. Kind of cool. Not super important, but still, we do have some upgrades available for our units now. So I like that. I like what we see there. Uh, this explorer can just go up to the north, I suppose. And this ripper will grab the resource pod, which was 70 energy. All right, reasonable. Not great, but not horrifying. Wrecked colony lander. That's actually probably pretty good. We should have some expedition modules on this guy, so we'll go ahead and send our explorer down that a ways. Yeah, the siege worm is kind of in my way of a crashed satellite. Not feeling really comfortable with having him here. Siege worms are scary. Alright, as always, once we get some um, benefit toward our affinities, we can start upgrading our units. And as you see here, uh, there are rewards, or it does incentivize you to um, have a, a hybrid affinity unit. So for instance, if I were to get, again, uh, Harmony and Supremacy, you can see that there is an option. Six Harmony, six uh, Supremacy, I'm sorry, six Harmony and six Supremacy would give me a full tier three, or yeah, it's tier three, I think. Tier 3 units, or is it Tier 4? I don't really know. Hmm, maybe that's Tier 4. Oh, it even tells us exactly what is available to us, and even shows us a model of what they look like. Oh, that's interesting. So you can see how it's kind of a mix between the uh, Harmony and the Supremacy ship. Cool, they have their own models just for that. I like that. I like that a lot. That's pretty awesome. But yeah, so there's incentives throughout the game now to get hybrid affinities. Kind of cool. I'm not sure if they're necessarily more powerful than a pure affinity. But they are still pretty good. These patrol boats, these are cutters, these are melee units, aren't they? So let's go ahead and upgrade that way. Okay, doke. Quest decision. Do we want to get additional exploration modules, or do we want science from laboratories? I think science from laboratories makes the most sense. Let's pick that up. Uh, what do we want to start researching next? Good question. We have a mission for computing, and we would get some XP towards supremacy and purity. Not sure that's a really high priority for us, though. Uh, we could research genetics to get extra health options. That'll push us toward things like alien life forms. And wonders, of course. You have to remember those are in the game. I don't think people remember that too often. They're kind of lackluster. They're cool. They do good stuff. And they actually do give you uh, just straight up diplomatic capital. But, eh, I don't know. I've never been a huge fan of the wonders in this game. They just take a long time to research and to build. Uh, engineering for titanium, repair facilities, mm, combat rovers, mm, observatories for the science, maybe, I don't know. Mm, planetary survey would be kind of nice, so we could actually move the city some more, so let's go ahead and start researching that next, I suppose. Because uh, we're going to need to research that if we want to start moving Deep Castle further out into the ocean, which we do. So we'll go ahead and research that next. We've got more rippers hanging around. Like friendly little dolphins. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, we're, I mean, we're doing kind of good. Just keep your distance, or we will shoot you in the face. I mean, we're just prone to do that. I mean, welcome, welcome, welcome to humanity, you know? We see some, uh, we see some alien life forms, and we just gotta kill it, you know? We're intimidated by you. I don't know. Uh, this worker is officially not doing much for us. Let's go ahead and start sending him down toward our next city, which is, what is this? Islemir? Almer? I can't really read it very well, but uh, that's definitely not English. I'm not sure. Now, the North Sea Alliance is supposed to be, I think, like just from a lore perspective, the North Sea Alliance should be like the British Isles and Scandinavia, I think. Pretty sure? I'm not, I'm, I guess I don't really know for sure, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that that's what they're supposed to be. It would make the most sense to me, considering I know where the North Sea is, just geographically. That would make the most sense to me. All right, let's construct another farm. I have to say, I love the look of the tile improvements underwater. You can't really see it very well under this ripper, but look right here. This is considered an underwater farm. Doesn't that look kind of cool? I just like that. I think that looks awesome. All right, these rippers are getting way too friendly. We need to start sending them away. Get out of here, ripper. Get out of here. Stay away. Don't do nothing crazy. I'm hoping that didn't make all the aliens hostile and they'll kill my worker right now. 
Nope, they're just gonna walk off. Oh, God! Okay, we have a giant alien. Giant alien, we just got some stuff. Hey, cool! A pristine artifact. And it's also Old Earth. Now, this is what I was talking about last video. So, as we showed you, if we just place an artifact in this research slot right here, for example, we would get 30 science, right? This is a better artifact, a pristine artifact, so we would get 96 culture if we use this. Alternatively, we could mix the two together and get 96 culture and 30 science, right? Kind of cool. If we add a third one, we will get entirely different bonuses. In fact, if it's another old earth artifact, we will unlock something new. Uh, in the past, I have seen that you would unlock a type of building. Not sure if that's what we're going to get this time or not. I don't know if that's, a, you know, every single time you do a three artifact combination, you get a new building. Or if it's something different. Maybe it's a perk. I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to probably hold off, and I want to see what my options are. Again, the cool thing about artifacts is that now you need to consider whether you want short-term or long-term benefits. Two Xenomass. Kind of piddly. Nothing really exciting over there. We could put a city down in this direction if we wanted. Just in this general direction. Again, though, really want more of these strategic resources. Uh, or should I say affinity-specific resources. Those just seem useful to me. Oh, wow. You're going to take eight turns? Yeah, no. You need to back out and heal because that's going to take forever. I don't think that's going to be an option. More aliens still sort of hanging around. Okay, so about this. Um, the alien kraken. So we just got a massive, and I mean a massive, alien unit here, and this thing is absurdly powerful. It won't let me click on it, apparently. But I can just tell you right now, if I were to use my city, the Kraken has 56 strength in comparison to my 18.9. Taking a shot at it might scare it away, it also might trigger it to be hostile and just start rampaging through all my stuff. Uh, I don't know. Let's scare away the rippers. Keep them out of here. Keep them out of here. We need to we need to clear this place up. Let's start working on a mine in this copper field. Glad I found it the second city, just in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. Krakens are like the siege worms. You know, they're awful. They're terrifying. He's leaving, thank God. Yeah, you get out of here. You go on and get. Uh, we found more xenomass. Two piddly xenomass. We also have a gunboat. Excellent. So let's start heading this direction. Getting some frame drop now. Unfortunately, that is apparently what's going to happen today. Uh, and we can do a ranged attack. Now, what's your range? It's two. So let's go ahead and start clearing out some of the Hydro Coral. And the reason I'm doing that is because this is currently sitting on a sunken vehicle, which is an expedition site. So I want to clear that out as quickly as I can. Trade Depot could be kind of nice. Not only would we get more diplomatic capital, but it would give us the option to establish a trade route with our new outpost, which I think is good. It would also give us the option to start trading with the Jinsoku Labs, which would give us science and production, was it? Yes, science and production. So that's probably the best thing to do at this point, now that we have some military units floating about. Uh, I think we'll take advantage of that. Ripper, you found some vents. That's a new thing. Just produces some science, though. Nothing extraordinary. Hmm. Yeah, still just I'm just still not finding anything that I think is really that worthwhile. It's really disappointing. Let's send our explorer to keep going down to this crashed or wrecked colony lander. Looks like we have two of them. One on the coast and one on the ocean. I'm wondering how that works. Why are there two of them? Apparently two ships, maybe two ships collided uh, as they were descending from orbit. Oh, man. Take off your hat, guys. Mourn for the lost colony efforts. All right, well, now we can move our cities onto ocean tiles, and we have trade routes that'll be going across the land and the ocean, which is kind of nice. The only good bug is a dead bug. Yeah. I haven't played this game nearly enough to get uh, a lot of achievements, unfortunately. But yeah. All right. Good, good. So this expedition site should now be open. Uh, hmm. We'll continue to explore a little bit. Looks like we're finding... Is this more coast or is it just unknown areas? I can't decide what's terra incognita and what's actually a coast. I guess we'll find out more. Organics, of course, is an option to us now. It's going to take a long time to research, though, so I don't really think it's worth it. I would rather start researching genetics, I think. Have some options toward pharma labs and cyto nurseries. And that eventually could lead towards something like Cognition, which would lead us to the Academy. Because I'm not really sure if the Academy spam tactic is still the best one in this game. It used to be. In Vanilla Beyond Earth, that was the best way to do things. 
is you just built as many academies as possible to get as much science as possible, and that was it. That's how you won the game. It was really boring because it was the universal win tactic. Looks like we have met Cheng Su. So Han Jae Moon, or Han Jae Moon, I, uh, I don't actually speak Korean, but we've met somebody. So that's cool. We met, we met them. We can actually check and see what kind of agreements they have to offer us as well. Oh, wait. An agreement for Cheng Su for black markets is available. So the game is notifying us about what our options are here. Oh, wow. She picked up a new trait as well. So you can see military convoys is now a thing. Pretty cheap in order to get combat defense for trade units. Don't think that's going to be useful, though, because if we pick up the ultrasonic fence, then we should become immune to alien attacks, so I don't think that's going to be useful. As far as Chung Su is concerned, science cost for branch technology is reduced. Okay, not bad. Capital science yield increased by 12%. Eh, I mean, depending on the capital, I suppose, that could be quite good. And black markets, capital city defense per occupied trade route slot. We don't have any of those yet. So none of those are actually useful, but it's... Oh! But it's... No, don't attack. Thank you. But it is interesting to see what my options are going to be. All right. Doesn't look like we have a lot more for our worker to do in this area. So I'm going to send him up to the new city as well. Or I should say it's an outpost. It is currently growing into a city. Oh, floating alien structure. Okay. That's one of the things that we wanted to find. Good. I'm glad we found that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and crush this ripper. Kill that off. Uh, and send our gunboat off this direction. We're going to look for some more hydrocoral and stuff that could be in our way. And a resource pod, of course. Why not? So, we can continue down the prosperity tree to gift economy. So, three energy from your land-based trade routes to foreign cities. So, if we wanted to trade with other civilizations, we could get extra energy. I don't think I'm going to be doing that quite yet, so I don't think that's actually worthwhile. I would love to get a Tier 1 Synergy bonus. So maybe we should do that. Maybe we should consider picking up something from knowledge or industry. I think knowledge makes the most sense. Let's pick up foresight. There we go. Alrighty do. And we can start working on our expedition of the crashed landed. Or uh, the crashed landed uh, colonizing ship thingy, whatever. So I want to get to the next turn though. Because let's find this floating alien structure and see what's going to happen with our Marvel quest. Because that will become a new option. We did discover a new station, culture and science. A bit far away, though. Don't actually anticipate it being much of a use. Investigate alien structure. Okay, quest updated. Uh, as in the field, our colonists have discovered a second alien structure, smaller than the first, but clearly built from the same incredible materials. Uh, no natural process known to sustain these temperatures outside of the planet's core. These floating structures might serve as a radical source of energy on this planet. If we can find two more, we will continue with the quest. Something we want to do at some point. Um, maybe a little while. I'm also starting to get some serious frame dra drop issues. This always happens if I've been playing the game for more than, like, 30 minutes, I've discovered. Uh, I'm inclined to think that it's actually a recording software issue, not the game, so please don't consider... Oh, God... So please don't consider this to actually be a fault of the game itself. It's probably not. Uh, okay, so the Kraken has decided to go smashing through one of my tile improvements. It's not necessarily attacking. It's just so big that everything it crosses over is going to blow up. I could take a shot at it, but then it would possibly attack me. It may be better just to hope for it to go away eventually. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm really hoping it just sort of goes away on its own. Well, let's see. Don't go toward my city. Don't go to my coral either. Just keep going to the left. Or down. Or up and down. Uh, no, he destroyed my coral too. Okay, so that apparently didn't work. Um, maybe I should take a shot at it. Just say, get out of here, Kraken. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. Nobody likes you. Um, this could be potentially really dangerous. I don't know. These guys are like siege worms in the sense that they can just totally wreck your day. Absolutely ruin your day. Uh, huh. But I don't really know a better way of getting rid of them. I mean, they're just so strong. I need to get a lot of military units to take these down. I am nowhere near powerful enough to take these down on my own. And we'll find out. All right, well, that's going to have to be enough for this video. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis with Civilization Rising Tide. If you enjoyed this video, then I hope you will hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys next time.